Well, Stuart, welcome to the club. How good does it feel to be sat there as a Southampton player? Yeah, it's a really, uh, really nice feeling. Um, everything's happened so quickly over the past few days, but it's uh, it's great to be here finally, and um, you know, I'm very happy. You've had Premier League interest before, of course, but you've chosen here. Why does this club seem like the right fit for you to move on from Celtic? I felt it was the right time, and Southampton seems a, a really good fit. And um, you know, watching from afar, really enjoyed the the attractive football that they play, and um, you know, it just feels right. So um, yeah, it's very uh, a very good feeling for the choice. You're an attacking midfield player who likes to get forward and score goals. Is that something you'll demand from yourself here? And was that key in terms of the style of football Southampton playing your decision? Yeah, um, like Southampton play an attacking style of football and, and that's um, you know, a big part of my game and every season that I play I always put demands on myself to create goals and score goals so I hope um, going forward from here that um, you know, that'll be the same. For the fans who've perhaps not seen as much of you as they'd have liked, what can we expect from you? Um, you know, hard work, a lot of um, you know, a lot of running and um, hopefully on the nicer side of things a few goals here and there too. The new manager came in at the end of last season, helped the club survive of course. How much of an attraction was it to work with someone who was such a great attacking player in his day as well? You know, it's a, it's a big thing and obviously um, I'm an attacking player myself so that was a, you know, a great bonus coming to the club and um, I spoke to him this morning and he was uh, really positive about the season ahead and I'm very much looking forward to working with him uh, and all the players. You had a successful spell at Celtic, of course. Did that really help you to develop a player as a player and to develop a strong mentality as well because of the demands that are there? Yeah, there's a lot of pressure at Celtic, a lot of pressure to win um, every game and that's something that uh, I had to develop as soon as I went in, that winning mentality um, and obviously winning and, and winning um, consistently was a, was a big factor to being at that club. So I learned a lot about the pressure being there. Um, and of course, Brendan Rodgers is a big influence on my career. Um, a lot to be thankful for, for, for being a Celtic player for those three and a half years. And you played European football there during your time as well, which must have helped you a lot. Yeah, that was a fantastic experience. That was the, one of the you know, major um, alluring factors of, of going to Celtic was the European experience. And for the past two consecutive seasons, we played Champions League football, which of course is, is every player's uh, uh, ambition. And um, you know, that was, a, that was a great experience for me individually and to play against some of the best players in the world was you know, something I'll never forget. And this club's tasted European football itself twice in the past few years as well. Is that an ambition of yours to come here and try and help the club to get back to that sort of stage? Of course, I think um, everyone wants to play European football and um, if I can add anything to the team in, in, in that respect, then of course um, that's where we want to be back to. And the lads? join up on Thursday as well so you won't have too long to wait to get to meet everyone. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. Um, looking forward to meeting everyone and, and getting my bearings and, um, you know, just excited to get started. And I believe it's a four-year deal, so is that something that you can look to now in terms of a long-term vision and what you want to achieve while you're here? Of course, yeah, it's, uh, it's a four years and, um, of course, there's a lot to learn and um, gives that element of stability and, um, looking to uh, hit the ground running. Was a big part of your decision to do with the quality that's already here as well and you adding to that? Yeah, of course. I mean, Southampton, of course, watching from afar and, and seeing their games on TV and um, you see the qualities that's in the team already and um, I'll be hoping to you know, learn from other players that are here and, and improve myself.